Well, hey guys, welcome to week four in your Get Awesomer kit. Uh, today I have a really, really special guest. I'm really special. <laughs> Ethan Hillman, and he is uh, a rising senior. senior. Oh, I was going to say uh, 12th grader, but I mean, it's thing. the same thing, same but thing. it just sounds better to say senior. Um, at Carolina Forest High School, and he is the FCA leader for Carolina Forest High School. So I know he's been putting in a lot of work this past year um, and over quarantine to tell people about Jesus. So in your packet, uh, you guys are up to Acts chapter 17. And that's when Paul goes into Athens and he preaches the gospel to people that don't know Jesus. And what we want to talk about today, and the big question is, how can you help others know Jesus? So, uh, Ethan, what are you doing or what is your goal for FCA in Carolina Forest High School? So our goal at FCA, like through the high school, is just to get as many people as we can exposed to Jesus. Hmm. So outreach as much as possible, get people in so they can start learning about them, hearing about them, and then give them opportunities to learn more and then strengthen the relationship with Christ. Hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, I want you to explain to them real quick how, what you were doing to, because I know FCA meets during lunchtime at the mm -hmm. high school, but once we had to quarantine, what was that, what were you doing during the time to stay connected? So actually once school got out and stuff, I decided to start a Fellowship Friday series, which mm -hmm. was a virtual series. We posted it on our Instagram. We did it every week for about two months, so about eight episodes where we'd bring in a speaker, have them talk about something that we would talk about during lunch at FCA or whatever. And that way they could still get like the taste of hmm. FCA and stuff and still that's get cool. exposed to that stuff while they're quarantined in their house. Yeah, that's great. Giving them like a like an outlet to just exactly see Jesus and see community still being mm -hmm. built within FCA. Um, yeah, so it sometimes we have this question of like, how can we as students or even as adults um, preach about Jesus when we don't have a, a complete understanding of the Bible or we didn't go to school for it? I know personally when I first stepped into ministry, it was maybe three years ago as an intern and I was only 22 years old and I was working alongside just great minds that either went to college or has been studying the Bible for years. And I was kind of intimidated. Intimidated. I was like, "How am I going to be able to lead students, lead parents, lead people to Jesus if, like, I don't have a degree?" I kept having the, this these thoughts go through my mind. How do I do this um, if I don't know? But, uh, you know, what is one thing that, that that maybe you do, or that, or have you ever gotten that feeling of you didn't feel adequate, or or you were you feel like you weren't able to preach the gospel because you weren't old enough. Have you ever felt that way? Oh, yeah. Like, of course, like, obviously, I don't know everything that's in the Bible. I try to learn as much <laughs> as I can and yeah. stuff, but it's so much to it. There's so much stuff in it. So what I do when I speak or when I talk to other people, I don't speak. I let Jesus speak through me. I speak how hmm. I think he wants me to speak, Yeah. if that makes any sense. Yeah, no, it does, because I, similarly, um, you know, what I've learned is that I don't have to keep throwing scripture at people. And I want people to know the Bible. I want people to know who Jesus is. But I do believe that if we act like Jesus, if we every day grow to be more and more like Jesus, people will see Jesus through us and God mm -hmm. will speak through us like you just said. Make it more relatable. Exactly, mm -hmm. yes. And, you know, just to love somebody and to reach out to them with kindness, um, something so small where they're like, wow, that's different than what everybody else is doing mm -hmm. in this world. By that, by those little acts of kindness, by that love for somebody, um, people will start seeing Jesus through you. And I do believe that uh, that is spreading the gospel just by mm -hmm. being the person that God has called us to be as his children, as his leaders. Um, and that's what Paul's doing. And, and we're going to continue to read about him in the, uh, in the book of Acts. So... And hopefully, Ethan, you still have a lot more uh, life to you. <laughs> and that, I hope so. And that you can continue to spread the gospel by the way you love people and the way you want community. And uh, we're going to be praying for you uh, during, for this next year for FCA. And 
um, and just to see what God's going to do in and through you, and then also to make disciples who make disciples who make disciples. And, mm -hmm. um, and that hopefully is an encouragement to all of you guys watching um, that you don't need to have this incredibly smart mind and, and, and understanding of the Holy Bible, which we do want you to keep growing in that, but instead um, to be in prayer and let God work in and through you as you tell people about Jesus, right? Thank you, Ethan. Of course. And we'll see you guys next week.